hello everyone welcome back to learn and earn with you sub youtube channel this video is all about the excel keyboard shortcuts okay we will explain all keyboard shortcuts in ms excel okay we have these categories and types first of all we will explain navigation shortcut keys we have these shortcuts for navigation for editing we have these shortcuts for formatting we have these shortcuts and for cell and ranges these shortcuts and for function and formulas these three shortcuts and other useful shortcuts that we will um, explain you okay we will teach to you in this video so let's get started okay before starting if you are new don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel uh, first of all we will come to the navigation shortcut keys okay the first shortcut key is control plus home this shortcut key is used wherever you are okay you are working so it will move you to the a1 cell okay to the top of this sheet okay so for example we are here right now Press Ctrl plus Home key. See, we directly came to the A1 cell. Okay, this was the usage of Ctrl Home. The Ctrl plus End, this shortcut key is used to move you to the last used cell. Okay, for example, you have worked until this area. So, it will move us to the last used cell. You have worked here, so it will move you here. Wherever, until the area that you have worked, so it will move you there. For example, okay, we are here. We would like to press Ctrl plus End. So we came directly to this cell. See this uh, cell has selected. Okay. Alt plus A4. Okay. J11. Because we work until this cell. For example, I would like to write something here. Now we work until this cell. Okay. Where we will come. For example, we are here. Press Ctrl plus End. See we directly came to this cell. Okay. Last used cell. Okay. To this cell. This was the usage of Ctrl plus End. Uh, the control plus page up and page down this shortcut key is used page uh, down page down is used to move you to the forward okay sheets for example we are in sheets 2 we want to move forward okay to sheet 3 we will press control plus page down see we directly come here to the page uh, sheet 3 if you want to move back previous so we will press control plus page down uh, page up see control page up page down to, she to switch between sheets control plus type is used to move you to another uh, workbook file okay for example we have two excel files one is this and that was the second one whenever you press control plus tab so it will move you to the previous one okay see we directly come here to the first one this was the shortcut key of control plus tab uh, for the beginners the plus sign means simultaneously at the same time press Control plus home, control plus end, control plus page up, control plus tab like this. Okay, the plus sign mean. And now control plus shift plus L. This is used to turn on filter. Okay, for example, you want to turn on filter on this column. Okay, so just press control plus shift plus L. So this the filter has turned on on this. Okay, and the whole table because we have this area, so that has turned on on this area. Okay, control plus shift plus L. It will turn up back okay that has turned up for example i have something here so now whenever if i press ctrl shift l so that has turned on on the previous and the first seal okay like this the filter has turned on okay ctrl shift l back remote uh ctrl plus g this shortcut key is used to move you okay somewhere for example we want to move to this seal okay which one is i 38 okay we are here right now we want to move there ctrl g we will write here i 38 seal Press OK. So it will directly move to that cell. So this was the shortcut key of control plus G. This these were the shortcut keys for navigation. Okay. So now we will move to the second uh, chapter, which is editing shortcut keys. So in the editing, we have control C. The first shortcut key is control C. Control C is used to copy some uh, a range. Okay. The range you have selected, for example, this cell, or I would like to copy these shortcut keys. Okay. Whenever you select the cells, just press Ctrl plus C. Ctrl C. Okay, it will copy that area. So after copying the data, where you want to paste? For example, I want to paste that here. So we have the second uh, shortcut key, which is Ctrl V. Okay, Ctrl plus V. It will paste the data that we have copied. Ctrl plus V. See, we have pasted that data. Ctrl C is used to copy. Ctrl V to paste that data. And now let's move to the third shortcut key, Control plus X. Before we use Control C, which copy data, but Control X is used to cut data from that area. For example, from this area, press Control X. It will cut the data. We will paste it here. For example, here, Control V again. See that we cut the data from that area and pasted the data here. The Control C will just copy from that area. Control X will cut from that area. Control Z. 
okay control z is used to undo that action before we cut the data and we paste it here but we want to undo this action so for that we use control plus z let's check it okay control z see we undo that action that we have performed previously but the control plus y is used for redo okay for redo the z is used for undo this is used for redo we want to do it again like as we did before okay let's press control plus y see again the cut as performed okay control z undo control y for redo f2 f2 is used to edit a cell for example we want to edit this cell whenever we press f2 we will be able to edit this see the cursor at the end okay we are able to edit this cell and shift plus 2 is used to add comment to a cell or area for example you selected an area or you want to add a comment to this cell okay press shift plus f2 see the comment here you can write whatever you want so you will add a comment to that area okay so it was the shortcut keys for editing now we will move to the uh, third chapter which is formatting shortcut keys in the formatting shortcuts first of all we have control b which is used to bold a cell okay for example these cells i have selected control plus b the text has bolded and control plus i is used to italic text now i will press control plus i so it will italic the text control plus u is used to underline i will press here control plus u the text is underlined back and underlined control plus shift plus dollar sign this is used to apply currency and numbers okay for example we have numbers here so it will apply currency on that control plus shift plus dollar sign so r is pakistani okay so if you would like to convert it to the english so just come here and press the united states okay it will be converted to the dollar sign wherever you um, live so it will apply that currency format Control plus shift plus percent is used to apply percentage without decimal points. For example, you have here numbers. So what it will do, it will apply percentage. It will multiply by 100 and also the percent sign. Control plus shift plus percent. See, that has applied. And the control plus shift plus hash is used to apply date format on a cell. For example, this cell. Right now, here, see the number. The format is general. Okay. Whenever we press control plus hash plus uh, control plus shift plus hash, that has changed it to custom. Okay. The format because it applied the date format on this. If you write a numbers here, so it will be applied in this format. Okay. So whenever you are writing, for example, you select convert the um, format to uh, date format. Okay, Control Shift Hash. Whenever whenever you are writing date, so it will be converted to this format to date format. Okay, so it is used at that time. So these were the formatting shortcut keys. Now we will move to the cell cells and ranges shortcut keys. So in cell and range, the first shortcut key is Control plus Shift plus plus sign it means control shift and plus sign these three buttons what it will do it will just whenever you want to um, it will open a, a pop-up box for us so here we will be able to select to insert a row a cell or a column let's do it okay for example control shift and plus sign see here now we are able to insert a cell to the right uh, uh, sh uh shift cells cells down okay entire row and ent entire column what you want to insert i for example i want to insert a row entire row press okay see an entire row has been inserted control z it okay uh control now let's move to another sh uh, shortcut key which is control plus minus button okay it means control and minus button it will again open that for us okay this is for removing a cell or a row or a column control plus minus now to delete cell to the left cells uh, up okay entire row and entire column for example i want to delete this entire row okay this one okay control v control i and control n press okay so that row has been deleted control z it okay back so this was control plus minus control plus shift plus enter is used to fill an area okay like this whenever you want for example to fill this area through a formula or a number or a text whatever you want but i will fill it through um, a number okay for example fill three like this okay and press control plus shift plus enter so it will fill the whole area through that in this area we have applied the percentage before and also here and also here that is why this video has been changed so it is how we can fill an area now control plus d it is used to fill down down area okay like this for example here we have 45 and we want to fill the down area this area okay we will press control plus d 
it will fill the down area and also if you want to fill the right side so we will select the right side cells control plus r control r it will fill the right side values also this is control d and control r and control space is used to select the whole column control space oh, sorry control plus space it will select the whole column for us see the whole column has been selected for us like this and the shift space is used to uh, select the whole um, row for us okay shift space the whole row for us has been selected control is used to select this table or whenever you are in a sheet it will select the whole sheet for us that is how we can do it it was all about cells and range shortcut keys now we will move to the functions and formulas uh, shortcut keys so in this area we have for shortcut key shift plus f3 it is used to open the dialog box functions dialog box for us shift plus f3 see we have the um, functions okay all these functions which function you want to apply okay for example sum press okay here insert the values so it will apply that but we will not apply right now so it was all about the dialog boxes of functions now f4 if f4 is used to uh, just for the last action that you have uh, performed okay for example we have bolded this area okay bolded this area and also underlined and any other task that we have performed you want to repeat that action again for example on this area press f4 so it will apply that that area has bolded again also okay so it will perform the last action that you have performed the alt plus um, equal sign is used to automatically insert the sum function for example you have numbers in this column and you want for example here okay i will apply that alt uh, the shortcut key is alt plus equal sign so here alt equal sign so what it will do it will automatically perform the sum for us okay sum function it will apply automatically it is it was all about this now we will move to the last um uh, shortcut keys other useful shortcut keys okay these now we will discuss these one by one so this shortcut key the first one is control plus f okay this is used to find a value control plus f here write whatever you want to find press the find next or find also it will find all that that you wanted for example let's do it control okay find all for example so it will select the whole like uh, find okay these are which one you want you just press that so it will open that for you uh, control H is used for replace okay for example you want to replace control by alt so it will replace just for replace one or replace R. so it will replace all control D control by alt and control P to print okay for printing okay it will print this data just adjust that control S to save this workbook okay and control n to open a new workbook control o to open a new work uh, uh, book okay excel uh, file from your hard drive uh, control plus w to close this workbook and alt plus fo to close the excel so it was all about these uh, shortcut keys that we have discussed one by one uh, i hope this video was helpful for you and you learned something from this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching